ด้วยมีข้อสองข้อก็คือหนึ่งไม่เล่นไม่ลงที่ที่สามแล้วก็สองไม่ว่ายครับ So we are here at the Russian Nam Nam right now and here and just had a weigh-ins and face-offs so the weight cut went well and morning I woke up I was one kilo over I came here around seven o'clock so and I cut a little bit weight and by eight o'clock I was already on weight so we were just sitting around and waiting with my coach till 10 a.m. so and then we did some Picture shoots for the RWS, and we now we just had a face-off. So. I'm excited about this fight. I know she's a tough girl, and I know she. I can tell that she has a long reach. Um, and I've never fought really like very aggressive fighters, so we'll see how it goes. Um, we were sitting next to each other uh, on the way to my face house, but uh, I think it's fine. Like. I, if people are nice to me, I'm nice to them, and we went on the stage, we laughed, and uh, we literally we looked at each other in the eyes and laughed, and then went back down the st stage and uh, just hugged and made a picture selfie together. So I guess it's fine. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. I guess after tomorrow, it won't be that tomorrow won't be that friendly anymore as today. So um, I just woke up from my two hours nap um, just to get my energy back um, and I'm preparing here a train that my coach said will help me be very energized throughout the whole night. I actually never drank this before. Uh, yesterday after the weigh-ins he was like I have such a good drink for you and I was like what can it possibly be like everything is good after weigh-ins right? So he went and bought this a uh, huge bottle of syrup and uh, put some syrup in the water and it actually tasted very good after the weigh-ins and I drank about like two bottles of this and I was like okay that's way too sweet <laughs> so yeah I've been preparing that for uh, for my night for the night so uh, hopefully we'll be very energized by it he told me it's because there's a lot of sugar in it in fact uh, that's why you feel very energized <laughs> so Hope it will help me throughout the night. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Ciao. Non c'è uno fettina. Ma la ha nu kohe varsti stadiumilla. Si ma enam telefoni kätte ei võtta. Okei. Mmm, ei saa teha sormisega, ma seda ei ette midagi. Ei võtta võrreldes sellega ikka, mis on olnud, noh. Praegu on ikka juba ikkagi hästi tegelikult. Liigagi hästi vahepeal, sõike tunne. Jah. Okei. Kallis vaad. Ma amastan siin. Jah, alab sõike, noh. Jah. Ega see ikka vaad. Jah. Okei. Tchau. What does your mum think about you fighting? Um, actually, she's the one who cut me into doing Muay Thai, but um, she never thought it would be that extreme. Like she told me just to try it for fitness, and uh, and now I'm here fighting. Yeah, so she always supports me, and she always watches my fights with her best friend. And uh, I can I know I can always count on her. Like she will never tell me like oh as you shouldn't do that. But sometimes it's like she doesn't understand the emotions I go through before the fight, for example, and uh, she, like sometimes she might say the things I don't need to hear on that day, but it's fine, I understand, like she she doesn't know yeah, what I'm going through. Um, yeah, but she always tries to be supportive. Uh, 
yeah i th- i think she's scared but she doesn't she doesn't show it at all like my mom is very good at hiding emotions and i think she um, yeah she just doesn't let me know that she's scared too but it's i love the feeling and then after a fight when i go get my phone and she's like yeah you, you did it again and you did it it's the best feeling yeah but now she just told me that uh she loves me and uh, and that I wouldn't have that opportunity if I wasn't good enough for it. So it, like it wouldn't happen if yeah. And there have been uh, much worse situations like in general in life and uh, I've come through it and I've fought through it like I've had bad I had very, I've been in a bad places and I still fought and I still won and then she said yeah, right now you're probably in one of the best places where we could be and uh, yeah, enjoy it, take the most of it. And it's actually my first time fighting in Bangkok. Uh, I, I fought Super Champ before, but it was uh, during COVID times, so it was in Phuket, so I never actually traveled out to Bangkok. Um, yeah, and that's when I got the most recognition as a Super Champ, but uh, yeah, otherwise it will be my biggest fight and uh, probably the biggest challenge challenge so far uh, as an Estonian it's like we don't have a lot of Estonian fighters that come out here in Thailand like we have Maria Rumet which uh, Snow Leopard she's probably the most famous one and she fought at one championship so she has she has fought on big stadiums but as far as I know like no one has ever fought on uh, Raja from Estonia so that's a very big accomplishment uh, yeah Just a lot of pressure, but uh, I love what I do, and I love fighting, and I love Muay Thai, and I love I love that art. That's why I feel like like fighting for me is not that I'm gonna go there and try to fight her. It's like I'm gonna go there and try to fight myself. Like like I wanna be better every single time, and I wanna see the growth. It's like when I don't see the growth in my fights, I get so angry, <laughs> get so mad, but I don't get mad at. Like everyone else, I get mad at myself, like why why I cannot level up, I've been training so hard, so like, yeah, what I look for, my, for myself today is that I've been leveling up, and I've been getting better. So much meat on you, Carolina. I know, right? The <laughs> pressure is real. Uh, my name is George Hickman. I'm uh, the 
MMA coach at uh, Bung Tom Muay Thai and MMA. I'm uh, here supporting Carolina, who's uh, one of our athletes. Yeah, she's well prepared. She's, um, she's done this quite a bit. Um, and she trains with good people and has good, very good trainers. So I think that she'll, she'll be fine.
obviously no one likes to lose coming from an undefeated record. It was my first loss and the first loss, uh, first feelings of the loss. Uh, when I stepped out of the ring, that was hard. Like uh, taking off the gloves and all, all those people around you, all those emotions. Um, I had to really hold myself together, to be honest. It took me like a few good hours to uh, watch my fight again and then to like think about all of it and all the emotions and uh, yeah like today I'm really happy honestly like the day after I was just I was just so happy and um, so proud of myself honestly like th I think this fight gave me a huge push to do better to train more and to be better overall and confidence I gained from it it's crazy and this fight really like it showed me how much I love this sport and I like going into the ring and being in the ring and even between the rounds I was like in my head I have to be here like that's where I belong.